we're back at the so-called haunted house and we're gonna go up into where the turkey vulture is and we'll see what's going on with the babies maybe they're hopefully the eggs have hatched um, we're gonna also take our trusted trail cam and we'll leave it here for a little while to see what we can record let's go have a look It's always a little spooky going into this place. Just don't know whether other animals might be residing in here or spending the night in here. You can, there's raccoon feces on the floor here, which would indicate that they frequent, but I'm surprised they haven't got the eggs. One of these days there's gonna be a bear sleeping on the couch. on our way upstairs. The neat thing about this is we never know what to expect. There could still be eggs or there could be little babies. I'm kind of hoping they're little babies. Let's go. Come see this. It looks like they haven't hatched too long ago. The egg casings are still here. They're probably just a few days old, but here's the one of the egg casings. Normally the parent birds will take those out, but we got one guy alert and the other guy is kind of hiding with his head under his brother or sister's chest. It never ceases to fascinate me uh, seeing these creatures. They just look so prehistoric. They have such a big beak and they're going to look nothing like the parent bird, or they look nothing like the parent birds at this stage. If I found one of these and didn't know that it was a turkey vulture, I wouldn't have a clue what it could be. Yeah, the, the one underneath just seems to be happy, curled up under his sibling. I just want to check to see that the guy underneath is, is doing okay. And it, it appears that something's been going after the back of his head. And I'm fearful that the same as what we saw last year might be going on here. His, his sibling is uh, attacking him, trying to get him obviously deceased so that he could get all the food. But he, he seems okay. He's got, he's got energy and he's keeping his eyes closed and his head's down, but I can only hope that that's not what's going on here, but time will tell. I am hopeful that the baby with its head down is simply, you know, full and tired and not, not injured. Um, while it is still part of nature that this goes on, that a sibling tries to take its litter mate out so that it can get all the food is fairly common in, in some bird species, but um, we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens. But it would be sad if, if one of them did uh, perish as a result of the um, sibling rivalry that they seem to be having up there. We'll come back next week and uh, see what's going on. Keep our fingers crossed.
Anybody home? A little bit strange that Mama Turkey Vulture isn't in the building. It's eerily quiet. Oh, I think she just left. I heard some noise there. The trail cam's all set up still. Both little guys are doing okay. One guy is quite a bit smaller than his brother now. At least it looks that way. <laughs>